ever struggled to model a knob cap like this and keep those smooth shadings? In this video, I'll show you a super easy, non-destructive way to achieve that perfect finish using just a few modifiers. First up, let's add a plane. Switch to top view, jump into edit mode, and scale this down on the x-axis like so. Then add three vertical loop cuts, and delete the faces on the left half. Now add a horizontal loop cut, right about there. Select this vertex, and move it down a bit. Switch to face selection mode, and inset this face, just a tiny bit. Quickly head over to the Insert Options menu and uncheck Boundary. Select these faces and inset them like that as well. Go back to Vertex Selection Mode and let's change the pivot point to Active Element. Now grab these two vertices, making the last one the Active Selection. Hit S, X, and 0 to snap the other vertex to it. Repeat the same process for these two vertices. Let's add another loop cut right here. Now grab this edge loop and slide it on the X axis to even out the spacing a bit. Add another horizontal loop cut, positioned right there. Add a loop cut at the top as well. Alright, select these faces and extrude them upwards along the Z axis, around 0.03. We only need part of this extrusion, so select this face loop, then deselect these faces and delete the selected faces. Let's add a mirror modifier and activate clipping to create the other half of the plate. Now add a subdivision surface modifier and bump the level up to 2. In vertex selection mode, Switch to X-ray mode and tweak these vertices to achieve that smooth, rounded shape we're going for. Go back to object mode. Let's add shade smooth to the object. Perfect. Switch back to edit mode. Add another loop cut right there. Hit S, Y, and 0 to straighten it out. Let's move this edge a bit further on the x-axis. Alright. Select these vertices. From the Loop Tools menu, select Space to distribute the spacing evenly. Repeat that process for these vertices as well. Select this edge loop all the way to this vertex, making it the active selection. Straighten it out with S, X, and 0. Feel free to fine-tune the spacing, by moving any vertices as needed. Let's add another loop cut here to sharpen up that edge. Grab these vertices and move them down a touch. Select these two vertices with the bottom one as the active selection and straighten them up with S, X, and 0. Feel free to make any adjustments if needed. Awesome we've got our base plate finished. Switch to edit mode and select everything. From the pivot point menu, choose the bounding box and rotate the plate 90 degrees on the X axis. Let's add an array modifier. Set the count to 13 and activate the merge option. You can adjust the count to get the desired number of plates. We need to fix a merging issue. To do that, Drag the Array Modifier above the Subdivision Surface Modifier in the stack. Now, let's add a simple Deform Modifier. Choose the Bend option and switch the axis to Z. Crank the angle all the way up to 360 degrees. There's another small merging issue. Select these edge loops and increase the Mean Crease value to 1. Looking good. But there's one more thing to fix. To see it clearly, switch off X-ray mode and change the shading to the red matte cap. See that sharp edge there? We can fix that easily. Just add the weld modifier and set the distance to a very small value, 
like 0 0.0001. And there we have it, perfect shading on our model. Now we can move on to shaping the top part of the knob. Before we jump into that, let's add a loop cut here to flatten out this area. Great. Now grab this edge loop and extrude it slightly along the Y axis to create a support loop. Let's extrude it one more time. Let's add another loop cut here to sharpen up this edge a bit. We want a smoother surface here. Select these edge loops and set the mean crease to zero. All right. Select this entire edge loop again and bring the mean crease back up to 1. Looking sharp. Now you can play around with the height of the knob to get the look you want. Once you're happy with it, let's apply all the modifiers. Remember, it's always a good idea to keep a copy of the original object before applying them. All right, select the object and set its origin to geometry. Then move the object to the cursor to center it in the scene. Switch to edit mode for the final touch. Select this edge loop and press F to fill the top. There you have it, a perfectly shaded knob model. So, what do you think? Did you learn anything new from this video? Do you know other techniques to model this type of object? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. See you in the next video.